problem, um, the first thing we need to make sure we do is always rewrite it. All right. So now we know by using this property, since I now rewrote it, we know that the only way we're going to get rid of our roots on the bottom is by taking the fourth root of 2 to the fourth power and the fourth root of 2y to the fourth power. Right? That's the only way we can get rid of the fourth root, is taking the numbers inside our radicands and having them raised to the fourth power. So what do I need to multiply 2 by to get it to be 2 to the fourth power? Well, squared would be 2 squared times 2 would be 2 cubed. So to get it to be 2 to the fourth, I need it to be 2 raised to the first. Well, 2 to the first power times 2 would be 2 squared. What do I need to multiply 2 to the what? 2 to the third power, exactly. I didn't hear you. And then y squared, what do I need to multiply y squared by to make it y to the fourth? Y squared, right? Now, why can I just multiply whole numbers like that? Right? Remember, guys, 3 times the square root of 3, that's just 3 squared of 3, right? But if you did square root of 3 times square root of 2, that equals the square root of 6. So these have to be within your square root. And then whatever you multiply on the bottom, you multiply up top. So now, when I multiply across, this looks kind of crazy. 2 cubed is 8. So this becomes the fourth root of 8, um, x to the seventh, y squared, all over the fourth root of now. 2 cubed times 2 is 2 to the fourth. 2 squared times 2 squared is y to the fourth. Now you guys can see those all now un undo each other. So my final answer, 8x to the seventh y over 2y. And there's no more root on the bottom. Yeah, you, well, you just need to do the 2 as well, though. But I, you, you should have the top, though. 